mean, we the last game was just last night, so um, you know it was pretty cool vibe on the plane. You know, everybody was you know normal, laughing, joking, messing around. Um, everybody been roaming around the practice facility since we've been back. So I mean, it's been cool. I don't think it's uh, really hit anybody yet that you know we could see a lot of changes. Um, you know, some people uh, might not be back and things like that, but. Um, I think we got a, the type of group where, um, you know, everybody's cool. We all communicate with each other. So, um, you know, it's it's kind of to the point where it's a business and, you know, we all friends. So that won't change, but um, things could change on the roster, um, you know, but we, we just don't know yet. How difficult will it be for you to kind of sit back and wait for the markets to make a decision? Um, it's, you know, obviously, I think everybody knows that we want him to be here, but um, that's something that's only up to him. You know, it's, it's his decision to make, and um, you know, regardless of what that is, that's something that we're gonna have to live with, and um, that's uh, kind of far out right now. So, you know, I guess we'll have to wait like everybody else. People would look at your post All Star and say he hasn't been the same player that he was the, before the All Star break. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? And, and if not, what was the problem? Um, I think it's, you know, it's a, a long season, you know, and there's ups and downs to it. Um, and it's, I think my first two and a half years, um, everything was just so much on the up and up that uh, I think people started to expect me to be perfect in a way. And um, I didn't think I didn't play well. You know, I had a lot of games where I would have 25 and 30 points. and. Um, somehow that got disregarded. You know, people look past that because, you know, I had games where I had 16 and, you know, I, sometimes I had 10 assists with 16. And, you know, sometimes um, the shots that I usually would make late in games, I didn't make them late in games. So it turned into, you know, where is Dame? And, you know, people wanted to uh, kick me down when I wasn't, you know, so superior all of a sudden. And um, I think at the end of the day, um, you know, I, I can look back at this season and be happy with, with what I did. Um, you know, I I played every game. You know what I mean? It's guys that um, might have hit a stride after the All-Star break that was sitting out games and, and resting and all of that. And I was out there every night. Um, and I, I saw something where only, I think, four guys or, f four guys or five guys had over 1,700 points in uh, 500 assists or something like that, and that was LeBron, Russell Westbrook, Steph Curry, James Harden, and myself. So, you know, people can say what they want, um, you know, but numbers don't lie. And uh, being out there every night and uh, being there for your team, uh, you you can't replace that. Is there a part of your game? Good. You're eligible for a contract, a rookie contract extension. Are you interested? In um, for me, I, this is where I want to be. So, um, you know, whatever, whatever we need to do to, to make that happen and figure that out, then that's what I'm gonna do. Is there a part of your game that you want to work on this summer? Um, I think this year, um, you know, I, I learned a lot of new things. Um, my first two years, well, my first year, uh, people weren't sure what type of player I was gonna be. Uh, my second season. Uh, they tried to take certain things away, and I, I was good enough to adjust on the fly and do, do other things. Um, and this year, it was um, a lot more attention that I had gotten in my first two years. And um, once again, over the course of the season, I learned different ways to, to be effective. Um, but um, I just want to be a more efficient offensive player. Um, and obviously, um, I want to be a, a better defensive player. You know, that's uh, something that I uh, really want to improve on. Where will you work out? What are your plans? For the next I month? mean, I, I work out the same as I always do. I spend some time in Ogden, work out in the altitude. Uh, most of the time I'll be here. I stay here year round. Um, I'll be in Oakland working out. Uh, just uh, all of the same places. Uh, just trying to find different ways to get better. Is it difficult to improve defense I, isn't, I don't think it's something you can just go to the gym and say, I'm working on defense. But um, I think when you commit yourself to um, watching film and seeing the mistakes that you made and being able to, to look at it and be honest with yourself and say, I need to be better in these situations, um, you can get better from that. 
and you know being in better shape you might be able to play harder longer and um, just just doing the things where I can uh, be in a, a better place mentally in certain stretches of the game um, you know last game we fighting for our lives and you know I got tired and you know I tried to dig on the post and Nicolette just cut right behind me and get a basket and um, you know if that doesn't happen who knows what happens in that game so um, just it's a lot of things that go into it but I think more than anything else it takes um, just having pride, uh, wanting to do it, and experience. You know, I think a lot of people forget that it's my third season, and it takes time to learn the, the way of the league. Um, it takes time to be able to be a 22 points per game on one end, and then lock down a guy who's doing the same thing on the other end. And um, I think it's easy to to lose lose perspective on that, you know, and, and forget that it's a lot of responsibility. Plan on reaching out to anybody? I mean, I know guys work with other guys for the summer. Do you plan on reaching nah, out? Nah, I ain't into that. Um, you know, I've seen people say he needs to work with Gary Payton and <laughs> stuff like that. But you know, I don't. It's a it's a lot of things that you can look at and um, and say in situations or pick and roll. I can do this better, or you know, I can um, choose better angles or no other teams plays better and things like that. But I think that's what it, it comes down to for me. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to be contacting anybody or, you know, it's Gary Payton was a good defender because he was a good defender. That was what he did. And um, that's something I need to improve on. Um, you, I mean, you, you look at going to the second round last year and I think we were excited about it and coming into this season, we felt like we could do a lot more. And last year, everybody was healthy. Um, going to the playoffs was new to us. Everything was so exciting. And, um, this year we had more expectations for ourselves. Um, um, a lot of you guys had higher expectations than you had going into last season. So, um, I think we did a great job embracing that in training camp. Um, we had a, a great start to the season, and then um, the thing that was different this year than last season was the injuries. You know, we had a lot of guys in and out of the lineup. Um, we lost West for the season. Um, you know, we just dealt with a lot more adversity than we did in the past since I've been here, um, and that made things harder. So um, I think this year was a year that um, we did a great job, you know, just sticking with it, uh, fighting to the end. but. Um, it's something that, you know, we used to grow instead of looking back and saying, you know, we got eliminated in the first round. We didn't play well in the playoffs. Um, I think a lot more goes into um, to that result than, you know, people want to look into.